this is Mackie. I'll be presenting a, a proof of a, the inscribed angle theorem. It states that if you have three points, three distinct points on a circle whose center is C, then the inscribed angle PQR is half the measure of the central angle PCR. In this presentation, this proof, I will consider a one case, a, the case that you see here in diagram in diagram one, which is where a points P and Q are on the same side of line CR. There is another case which is very similar to it, and it's treated the same way basically. A, the case that you see here in this other diagram, diagram two where points A, R and Q are on the same side of line CP. These two cases can be treated the same way. A, there are other, a couple of other cases. They are illustrated in diagrams 3 and 5, which I'm going to scroll down so you can see. A, a second case is where points A, P and Q are on opposite sides of line CR as well as Q and R are on opposite sides of line CP. Uh, another case, or th there are two cases but basically prove the same way, where points Q and R are a diameter of this circle, and uh, where points Q and P are a diameter of the circle. Those two cases are basically the same, they're treated they're proved the same way. So those are being left at exercises. Uh, the one that we are going to cover in this video, in this short video, is a proof of case illustrated by diag diagram one. So let's begin. Here is diagram one. Uh, first, let's perform a construction. Let's construct the radius CQ and then call angle uh, CQR uh, let's say it has measure Y degrees or Y for short and uh, angle PQR um, measure X so immediately we should note that uh, since triangle QCP is an isosceles triangle with uh, CQ and CP congruent because they are radii of circle C, then we immediately get that this other angle right here is CQP must have the same measure as the angles, uh, excuse me, angle CPQ must have the same measure as angle CQP because they are base angles of an isosceles triangle. So I have recorded that in here. Uh, X plus Y is the measure of angle CPQ. Uh, because we have CQ and CP are congruent. They are equal in measure. Next, by the exterior angle theorem, uh, the angle that you see right here will have to be the sum of X and X plus Y. The result is this uh, measure right here to X plus Y. Now, uh, let's observe that angle CRQ right here must have the same measures, measure as angle CQR. Reason? That right there is an isosceles, an isosceles triangle. Consequently, uh, we can now resolve the question. What is the measure of angle PCR? That central angle. Well, let's employ the exterior angle theorem over here. The, que the angle that we look in here, and the central angle that we're looking at in here, in Y are remote interior angles to angle to this angle over here. So, what's the relationship between the unknown um, Y and two X plus Y? The sum of the uh, remote interior angles is the same as the exterior angle. So if we cancel the y's 
we get what we're after. The unknown is 2x. QED, we're done. I'm saying we're done. Uh, why is that? Well, let me let me replace the unknown by what it is, what we by, by what it turned out to be. It turned out to be 2x. Now, what was our original claim? Our original claim was that angle, the inscribed angle PQR, was half of the center angle PCR. And yes, we have established that in here. Our inscribed angle was a, had measure x. We found that the center angle has measure 2x. Therefore, the inscribed angle is half the measure of the central angle, which was our goal. Uh, this completes our short proof of uh, one of the cases uh, of the inscribed angle theorem. Um, one comment about the second diagram. I, I mentioned that it is the same uh, treatment. Uh, you would do exactly the same thing. You will produce a, a you will perform a little construction. Uh, what construction would you perform in that case? Well, you construct CQ and go on from there. The ones that are presented for exercises will be slightly different. The treatment will be slightly different, and that's left uh, for the reader to try. That's all for now. Uh, see you next time.